Hello and welcome everybody to a short quick tip on the MPM solver. After so many showcases of what you can do with the MPM solver, I really thought it would make a lot of sense to show you how you can mesh the MPM solver with one method to get a result that is more or less acceptable from what your material states define. So keep always in mind that different material states need different meshing options. So for this example here I choose the slope example with the snowball and as you can see the setup here is pretty much a, a normal uh, setup and we have here our slope our sphere here that is rolling down and you can see that everything uh, is meshed with those spheres here so the first idea that came in mind was to use the VDB for part from particles to make the particles meshed like a VDB as you might know VDB stands for volume database and is a special database for volume objects like you can use to store your values in inside a data bank in Houdini so this is the VDB from particles I was taking a fairly low voxel size and a point radius of 1 and a minimum radius in the voxels of 0, 0, 5. So as you can see here, we get a first result of our meshing. And what I then did was piping down a VDB smooth to smooth out all those crunchy and crunky areas. And everything after that goes into a convert VDB which converts our volume database back into polygons. So everything is then cached out and as you can see here and as you can see here our ball is rolling down creating all those snowy icy like um, fragments rolling farther and then starts to to stop and also our snow starts to stop and and like I said this is just one method how you can mesh your MPM so keep in mind that you can al always use the VDB smooth and change values to make it more clumpy or more edgy really defining and depending on the look you want to achieve so you can see that when I change the VDB smooth settings we get more of our detail details back when you set the iteration to one they pretty much get lost and with the convert to VDB to a polygon we can see that our snow here starts to pretty much get back so what's what I did then was caching this out um, we bypassed the the file cache and what I made then was a lob net LOP stands for the for the Karma Solaris stage environment in the USD and we dive inside the LOP net and you can see here that I already applied a shader to the MPM solver and we get here a nice fluffy snow look So let's go back 
You can always play with the VDB from Particles point scale radius to achieve a more detailed or more defined look of your snow. So you can see here that the point radius scale is giving us here the, the snow part and everything gets into a VDB reshape with a dilate operation and then everything gets converted. So with the VDB smooth you need to be very uh, carefully because it's taking back quite some details. As you can see here, so um, um, that depends on what you look, look you want to achieve. And in our Skynet Lobnet, here you can see that we have there already the snow look. So it's impressive how Karma was improved in the Houdini 20.5 release. It's way more faster and stable. Rendering with the XPU. And the material here that is assigned is a um, MTX standard surface. And for the shader there's actually only white color, no specular, no code, a bit of subsurface scattering, a little bit of submission because uh, emission because you know that snow is mostly uh, emissive when light hits the surface of the snow. And that is what I wanted to share with you. There are also several other methods you could uh, use the p-scale attribute from your MPM solver to render out your MPM uh, simulation uh, in spheres when you want to um, have several shapes that are um, defined in your simulation. And um, there I want to show you another example where this uh, is really good scene what I'm talking about. So here in this example you can see how um, the sand ground is meshed and it attached to instances of rocks. And the rocks are generated here inside with this um, sphere which gets a mountain and then a poly reduce um, everything then gets into a Vor Voronoi fracture it's assembled we set the position to zero unpack it it's getting transformed and you can see that here in the sandbox also the color is set with the VEX code here you can see here and this is what we get in the MPM uh, environment. Then the everything gets oriented. As you can see here we have a string name which is piece. Then ITOA integer random ID which get gets into a um, into a matrix and is uh, orientated with quaternation and you can see that then an uh, instance copy to points is used and let's make this a bit more um, like sand so I set this to 0 0.2 now we get here smaller pieces.
So you can see how our uh, debris is now smaller, but we have not enough coverage. So let's change this in the particle separation in our MPM container. Set this to 0 0.1. Now we see that we get still um, not enough coverage here. So let's change our rock scale to something like 0 0.85. So in the sand MPM source, we can change our point scale and display particles as sphere. I set it to 4. And you can see now that we have here a very dense instance field of the generated rocks. And we have also our crack here that is walking through our um, debris field. So what we can do is making here and now making out crack and we can do the same after our instance rocks setting now and setting out debris and <clears throat> we go on top and make a geo node then we make an object merge and we pick our crack from the geo and you can see here that crack is now in the field and um, let's simulate this and let's have a look how this is um, looking and behaving with the instance rocks, which are very small now. So here's our simulation and you can see how the sand is getting distorted and pushed away by, gra by crack. And that's one way how you can utilize the MPM solver with the meshing and instances like we discussed before. So, and as you might know, the different states of material like soil, water, honey, jelly, fluid, viscous, and stuff like that need uh, different meshing options to achieve desirable results.